Okay, anyway, so let's do this problem. And we're going to use the Rydberg equation a couple of times in this problem. So I'm going to kind of manipulate it to the way I like to say it. Okay? So it says, what is the energy, in dif energy difference in kilojoules per mole between the first and second shells of the hydrogen atom if the lowest energy emission in spectral series with N2 equals 1 and N1 equals 2 and, and then it gives you a wavelength. But I want to calculate that wavelength, okay? So let's just calculate that wavelength and then we'll calculate the energy, okay? And I'll show you where that difference is that we were talking about, okay? So again, you've got to have the Rydberg uh, constant given to you, so you're not gonna have to memorize that. You're, you're gonna have the Rydberg energy constant given to you, okay? So you don't have to memorize that. But you do have to know what the Rydberg equation is. Okay, so there's the Rydberg equation. And it tells us that um, it says uh, N2 is 1. and N1 is 2. Okay, so we should be able to figure out the wavelength. And that this problem actually gives us the wavelength, but I'm not going to give it to you. And let's see if we get the same answer. Okay, so plug in the Rydberg constant. And also remember, uh, wavelengths are usually given in nanometers. So you're going to have to convert the meters. Okay. So one minus a quarter. <coughs> that's point seven five. So. And then I'm just going to convert to nanometers right now. So what do we got? Uh, one times like 10 to the negative 9 meters is 1 nanometer. So that's going to cancel there. And then let's move this up here. We're running out of space. Um, so what do we got? Well, times the conversion to nanometers um, times 0.75. Okay, so I got this answer. <coughs> and I'll take it out to a number of digits because really there's no significant figures in this one. But 8.2. Two seven five times ten to the negative three, but that's per nanometer. Okay, so you got to watch out about that, right? So it's, if you want to think about it, if you want to think about it on the on the quick, you want to think about it that way. But if you really are having trouble doing that, you can always erase and be like, so it's per nanometer. It's not nanometer. So when we do that, of course, we just invert this thing, right? So we say one nanometer divided by 8.2275 times 10 to the negative 3. And that should give us our number. They're all proud of you guys for being here. And that number is 121.5. Okay, so it said look for the, I said look for the wavelength, and if we look at the problem, 
sure enough, the wavelength is 121.5 nanometers, okay? Just like you would expect. Okay? Is everybody okay with that portion of it? Why? Why did you divide it by itself? Because it was per nanometer. Nanometer and per nanometer are not the same thing, right? This is divided by nanometers. So we had to get the nanometers up at the top. Well, when did you uh, take the inverse to get the one over the... What is so the this is this. I've just written it out a little different. Okay? It's the same thing. Yeah, but you still got to like flip the whole answer to... You're going to flip it at the end over here. Okay? Right. I promise you that's the right answer. I promise you. I wouldn't lie to you. If I lied to you before, no, never, right? <laughs> okay, so are you cool with that? So go through it. If you're having trouble uh, understanding why to flip it here instead of there, you're really doing the same thing, okay? You're just doing it at a different time. I just like to do it step by step by step so it's like people can. Be like, okay, Heath, I get it, you know? <laughs> okay, so, and of course, like I said, we've confirmed it, the wavelength is 121.5. So it really is asking us for what's the energy, okay? And like I said, you can go through the whole um, problem of taking this wavelength that you got and putting it into Planck's equation and getting your energy done, okay? We're not going to do that. We're going to use the Rydberg equation again to get the energy. So can I erase all of this stuff? Okay. Will they give us the right for energy constant on that? Yes. All right. Yeah. All constants you'll be given. It's too hard to remember all that stuff. I mean, it's good to try to though. So I just write that up there so I won't forget it. So, now let's change the Rydberg equation to the energy form of it, okay? So a lot of times you'll see delta E, that just means the change in energy. Okay, when it's the energy, you're going to use the Rydberg energy constant. So, you just plug in the same transition, same thing, okay? Notice the Rydberg energy constant is not per joules, though, so you don't have to do that flip, okay? okay. So it's actually much easier.
okay when you do that. Um, you get this answer, negative 9, 8, 4, 5, 9, 7, or whatever, uh, joules per one mole of electrons. Okay, but it asks for kilojoules per mole. So just divide that number by a thousand, and you should get this number, negative nine, eight, um, four point six kilojoules per mole of electrons. Okay. So that was probably the numbers that you were getting, and you weren't realizing that you were instead solving for a mole of electrons as opposed to one electron. So I bet money, even though nobody showed me the calculation. Okay. Are there any questions about this? So again, this way is really cool because we can figure out, well, what's the energy of one electron, right? And we can figure out the energy of a mole of electrons. And we already know the Rydberg equation, okay? So we can figure out directly from the Rydberg equation. We don't have to plug it back into Planck's So if, like, the Rydberg energy equation, uh -huh. it's actually Yeah, yeah. Because it would be a negative times a negative, and that's a positive, right? So that would be where it's going up in energy level, okay? That makes sense, right? Because it takes energy to climb up a hill, if you want to think about it that way. But it doesn't take any energy to fall off, you know, and splash on the or splash onto the ground or whatever. Okay, are we cool with that? Any questions on that one? <laughs>